Well, good evening. This is a $5 pickup from the market. It's a National Panasonic Tip Deck Auto Stop. Model RQ226S takes one, two, three, four, five, six batteries. Um, looks like they're big ones too. D size. So that should run for a while. Uh, and uh, let me uh, show you it playing. I think this is the play button. Fast forward works, fast reverse works, play works. Uh, basically needed one belt to get the play working and um, good old spray with WD-40 on contacts and everything else. Oh, that's the end of the tape. That's not good. Let's get it. It actually plays from right to left, so it's going up, and kind of, which is a bit confusing for me because I'm used to tape drives that go the other way. But this is going anti-clockwise. I feel so bad, I got a worry in my I'm so lonesome all of the time Since I left my baby behind on Blue Bayou Save a nickel, save a dime Look at you, the sun don't shine Good evening again. This time I'm starting the video from the wrong end because I've already opened this unit up to fix it and I thought I might as well just share it in case someone else wants to do the same. This is a little cassette recorder and I'll show you what it looks like at the end but um, I just wanted to show you the insides. It's got um, beautiful volume controls, nice little speaker and I took the tape deck out in one piece, uh, as you can see. It's got a mains transformer, pretty nice motor. The problem was the spool for the play was not taking up the reel. And that's because um, there's a drive belt you can see from here to here. This is driven, which drives this. And that belt was, was loose. It had stretched over the years and was loose. So to change it, you just take it off that pulley, off this pulley, and off it comes. And I had a space, so it was a bit tighter, so it'll grip better. And while it's out, I uh, cleaned this rubber here. It's got a lot of rubber on this piece here. Bit of sandpaper and spun it around. Bit of sandpaper on this rubber. Uh, slight sandpaper on the idler while spinning it just to take that finish off and then give it a good spray with the isopropyl alcohol and let it dry up a bit clean it with cotton buds to make sure there's no residue and now it should grip pretty well because basically that belt was slipping in there 
head to look pretty good while it's out. I gave it a pretty good clean. Uh, the other side, nothing. It's be just beautifully made. They just don't make stuff like this anymore. It's all so cheap and nasty. Uh, let's see if I can just tip this over. Over here, I did open the board. I did lift up the board to have a look inside. I really didn't need to do that, but I did. I need to put it back together, and you can see it's got um, the two output transformer uh, transistors. Uh, Very nice. So this goes back on there, and then screws together, and that becomes one piece which screws together, and then it goes back together. I'll show you what it looks like in the next video. So.